Critics of electric vehicles often say their limited range, long charging times and the degradation of car batteries are all barriers to buying these cars. But that might be about to change. An electric car battery developed by a UK startup has successfully charged from 10 to 80% in just over four and a half minutes in its first live track test. The achievement came from the company Niobolt, which used a specially built sports car at a proving ground near the English town of Bedford. Well, Dr. Sai Shivaredi is co-founder and the CEO of Niobolt. We started Niobolt in 2019 with a vision to bring down the recharging times to refueling times. So the convenience that we have been used to over many decades driving our vehicles is not there when we switch over to electric vehicles, right? So our vision was to bring down that charging time such that we have the same convenience and um, we have a great experience in transitioning to clean energy. So that's the vision and how we do um, what we did uh, is really coming down to the fundamental science breakthrough that we've had about four or five years ago, where we've had new materials uh, that were discovered to charge up the battery fully in a few minutes. And for the very first time, we've been able to take all of that new material technology, put it into uh, lithium-ion battery cells in, in traditional processes, but using our new material inside the cell and bringing about a full system level capability to charge the vehicle fully in um, under 10 minutes or um, depending on the charger, what we demonstrated yesterday. We report a lot on this program about range anxiety and why that's a barrier to ownership, uh, particularly in Europe. We hear a lot about the time uh, that it takes to charge electric cars. We also hear, of course, about this degradation issue, that, that batteries simply get clapped out. Where are you on that? Oh, that's the biggest problem we've actually overcome in our development. So we have invented these materials to accept a lot of power so they can charge multiple times repeatedly under very fast charge conditions uh, to overcome the degradation problem. Uh, the way we do that is to reduce the impedance inside the material or the resistance for the ion to charge and discharge. Um, and once you reduce the impedance, lesser heat is generated. And that means you end up with better performance over the lifetime. So we don't have any of the degradation problems you would have heard um, from other uh, batteries in the market. We've demonstrated that the technology lasts for over 4,000 cycles, uh, charge to charge cycles under fast charge conditions. And that's uh, really a big breakthrough. OK, so brilliant breakthrough. But the big question, how long before this clever science is in the car showrooms? Oh, so um, in small volumes, uh, look, this car uh, is actually on an existing platform, so we've not really redesigned the whole car platform. And it's been a, uh, a journey to try and retrofit into an existing platform. So I think it depends on the volumes, really. Uh, small volumes, we can do that within the year. And bigger volumes, uh, it's going to take many um, parties to come together and agree on you know where and when and how we do these things but we're thinking about the normal time scales around an automobile industry adoption uh, for large volumes uh, of three to four years at least what happens next are you waiting for uh, that phone call from Elon Musk at Tesla or the guys who run BYD well we're waiting uh, to roll out our battery into every car that, that's on the road uh, that needs a fast charge or every vehicle or every device ultimately.